So this is my summit branded run stand. From now on, all of my LS engine testing will be done on this. Uh, some of you may be familiar, I used to run it on this little red cart. Now I've got much better of a setup, so I guess I'll go over exactly how this is all set up. So first off, mounting. These right here, these are a set of uh, the cheapest um, small block Chevy to LS uh, motor mount I could find. They're on some of, they were like 80 bucks. I think they're like technically S10. And then in the back, it's a LS1 T56 bell housing bolted to the back plate. That's not staying. I'll talk about that a little bit later with everything else I'm gonna change. Um, as far as actually running the engine, uh, I guess I'll start top down. So Holly 4160, um, vacuum secondary, it's been, it's been converted, which is why it has the uh, later bowl, but it's got obviously one metering block. Uh, this thing's acting up and it's it's working all the time that I've tested it, but I might ditch it. And then I also might, if I can make it work, I'm gonna be swapping out one of these bowls for one with a sight plug, or sorry, not with a sight plug, with a sight glass so you can actually see the bowl. And then fuel system, that's just gravity right now, but I'll talk about when I do the wiring, how um, I'm gonna have an actual pump. Uh, Holly 300-132 intake manifold, same one as before. Heat sink coils, just like before. Um, Holly 6014 box, that's what runs, you know, all of my uh, LS carbureted stuff uses that box. And then now I've actually wired it up instead of having to touch wires and things. Oh, way over here, I've got start switch and then a a starter button that's done. Uh, the exhaust is the same as before, where it was a buddy long tube headers to the slip on mufflers. Um, quiets it down, I guess, enough, but that's going to be changing, like I said, I'll talk about in a sec. Uh, biggest difference is the fact that I have a water circulation system. So I wouldn't necessarily call this a cooling system. Uh, it's a so obviously, we've got tr all mo every motor I pull is going to have a truck pulley. So, truck pulley, stock truck water pump. Um, I talked about this in an old video about how I figured out that uh, this belt number fits just the water pump tensioner and the uh, crank pulley. And then, I guess it's all over here, but so the thermostat, yeah, thermostat, uh, this has been completely hollowed out. So there's no thermostat in here at all. So instead of cooling the engine, since it doesn't really build heat because it's up, you know, no load or anything, and I want to just get them warm. It's just flowing water at all times. So this radiator, which I'm not gonna keep, it's kind of just big and in the way. I either wanna get a water tank or just a really small radiator. Uh, is, this is a stock fourth gen F body radiator, stock fourth gen F body lower hose, and then a stock truck upper hose. Um, I don't have my F body water pump anymore, which comes out here and is more narrow. Uh, I technically wanna use that one because that one you can space out depending on what crank pulley it is, but this is what I have for now, and I guess it's working. Um, yeah, wiring is just a battery down here chilling. That's all going to get redone. And then I've got over here, I'll talk about what I'm going to change. So the A body headers and the LS1 T56 bow housing are going in the El Camino. So um, I need those back. So what I've got, I wanted, so these are up and forward turbo headers, which go like that. But I think I'm going to mount them down and back and then run 90s straight up and then I'll be able to slip on various muffler setups. So I've got a couple of set of stock mufflers I'm gonna be getting and then play around with what sounds like with what. So I can also do, um, you know, I can also do testing about what things sound like compared to what they don't. Uh, the cooling system, like I said, I wanna change a little bit of that, but I, I've had this forever. What I really wanna do is this is a water pump relocation and it bolts the motor. You can even take the fittings off and everything. And then instead of having, uh, you know, water pump and a belt, there will be no belt whatsoever. And the water pump will be built into the radiator and it'll just circulate water regardless if the motor is on or not. So I think that's just about it. Oh, also in here, instead of having uh, flex plates like I used to, it's got a 30 pound stock LS1 F body flywheel. So it kind of idles more like a regular car now instead of like, you know, like having only five pounds off the, uh, off the end. But that's basically it. Like I said, yeah, this carb's acting up. If it doesn't want to work, I'm going to pull off the uh, 4150 the Street Avenger off of that car, but here, I'll see what happens. Also, I'm probably going to be selling this engine and this engine. They're both LQ4s. Yeah, this is my newest one. Um, I've got the red engine still. That motor will find its way at something. And then I've got another 6 liter LQ4 that's in a car right now that I'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff to. So I don't think I need four. And then I also, I wanna keep them on. I keep, 
and then install a bunch of aluminum motors. So yeah, I think these two are probably gonna go. So I'll figure out, you know, what I wanna do with that. But here, let's, so ignition on. And then. Fuel in it, see what happens. Yeah, I'm getting no score direction. 